Hey guys, welcome to another comparison video where we will be putting Toon Boom Harmony, top of the line 2D animation software and arguably the king of the industry against Cartoon Animator, which is a more specialized software with a focus on puppet animation. I bet you didn't see that coming, huh? Anyways, let's get into it. Let's start by taking a more general look at what we are working with. Toon Boom Harmony is the industry standard 2D animation software developed by Chorus Entertainment to support both 2D frame by frame and puppet animation. It has become the go to software when it comes to high budget productions. The Toon Boom package isn't only used in the field of animation, but storyboard and production are also used in other visual media, including live action. The program is available for Mac OS and Windows with multiple subscription plans, ranging from 27 USD for the Essentials package all the way to just under 125 USD per month for the Premium package. The Toon Boom package has practically taken over the entertainment industry as it's being used by the likes of Disney, DreamWorks, Ubisoft, Fox, NBC, among others, along with being the primary focus of many animation courses. So chances are you came across this program one way or another, just like I did. Cartoon Animator is the quintessential 3D animation software pretending to be a 2D one. Sarcasm, of course. It's by all definitions a 2D software. It, however, puts all of its eggs in the puppet animation basket. Developed by Reillusion, with its main gimmick being that of supporting motion capture, and that's why things get a little complicated. Good news though, cheer up! The program is a one time purchase. You needn't worry about pouring a lot of money into it every month. Um, you'll instead just be pouring a lot of money all at once. The basic package will run you around 150 USD, then come the add-ons, which include the motion capture profile. That can add up to almost 3000 USD total, going from highly accurate facial motion capture features to full body mocap, including a webcam profile and an iPhone profile. So aspiring VTubers, take notes. From Japan to Alaska, many breathtaking animated projects have been made using Harmony and its accompanying package, and for good reason. First and foremost, it has a very clear, easy to use interface that is highly customizable. And it being the jack of all trades, master of all to the animation program, it has pretty much access to every tool under the sun to fulfill its express purpose. The tools range from puppet animation essentials, such as deformation and morphing tools, to more complex particle generation and inverse kinematics. It also includes the perfect package for frame-by-frame -frame 2D animation with an extremely versatile brush library, in addition to many layer modes, including bitmap, vector, as well as 2D and 3D camera integration. It also comes with many assets that have the express purpose of making your life easier, especially during cleanup. You have a built-in line stabilizer, quick snapping, alignment guides, and perhaps most impressively, the most efficient color management system ever. It allows you to organize unlimited swatches that you can use to manipulate colors across the entire production pipeline, including traditionally animated assets. Now, if that is not a time saver, I don't know what is. If you prefer the more traditional route, however, you can use X sheets alongside a timeline. It includes advanced onion skinning, shift and trace tools, and many advanced layer styles, allowing you to almost use it as an illustration software. Not to mention all the compositing tools, along with camera depth and sound support, which can cut down on revision time significantly. In simpler terms, if you need a tool, it's probably there already. But perhaps the most relevant to today's conversation is Harmony's puppet animation capabilities. It's equipped with a powerful rigging system that can create said rigs directly from your timeline. Or you can take the complicated route and use the master controller system, capable of infinitely more complex manipulations, such as multi-element character rotations, without having to dig up deep within the rig. Now to our 3D impersonator here. Cartoon Animator's primary focus is, as we said, puppet animation, which means it is riddled with tools that not only allow you to rig static assets and turn them into living moving pieces, but it's also heavily automated in what it can do. 
It has a lip-syncing generation system that goes directly off of audio, as well as a very exciting spring system that uses real-time physics to move and jiggle entire objects based on the movement of a single bone within the chain, with surprising precision and control. It has freeform deformation, allowing you to exaggerate your overall movements in a pre-made animation, but also bone deformation for the times where you need to exaggerate with more intent. You can motion link to pre-existing 3D animations and even do video compositing in VFX, all coming in a user-friendly interface that is simple to use and doesn't take much to figure out. That said, perhaps the most impressive feature of Cartoon Animator is becoming a VTuber. <clears throat> um, I mean, motion capture integration supporting iPhone profile, which has one of the most precise cameras for facial tracking. It can go as far and as wide as a full body integration, all the way to tracking individual joints, such as hands and fingers. Combine that with the real-time physics engine and you get yourself a VTuber. Um, I mean, an animator's dream. <laughs> nice. I feel that it goes without saying that with great power comes a very steep learning curve. When you have a software designed with high budget productions in mind that involves hundreds of people working on any given project, it's only natural for them to be A, overflowing with every imaginable feature and B, not very beginner friendly, obviously. They do have relatively simple to understand interfaces, but they can be quite the time sink to learn. Thankfully, there are many resources, both free and paid, that will allow you to get well acquainted. Let's first address the elephant in the room. Both of these programs won't be very friendly on your wallet, especially since, again, they are designed with corporation needs in mind, which will automatically lead to a corresponding price. As for the pros, let's take a look at them one by one. In the case of Toon Boom Harmony, well, other than being an absolute powerhouse as an animation program, it also is a powerhouse in the animation industry, as in the animation business itself. It's practically required to master this program if you are aiming to land yourself a job in the animation industry, so having it in your arsenal is a great boon. It's also the focus of many animation schools and courses. There isn't really much more to add since its capabilities speak for themselves. It's riddled with boons, with its only major con being the investment in time and money. But can we really call that a con if it can lend you a job at Disney? Despite the different subscription plans, the cheaper version is relatively bare bones and doesn't offer much more other than the brand name compared to the free alternatives out there. On the side of Cartoon Animator, I guess another con can be the fact that it doesn't support frame-by-frame -frame animation. But the thing is, if you choose Cartoon Animation, then your goal was never to draw individual frames, but to become a VTuber. <clears throat> I mean, to fully embrace puppet animation and use its many automated features, along with the aforementioned motion capture support. I promise you. That was the last VTuber joke you'll ever hear in this video, I swear to god. Anyways, Cartoon Animator is also ideal for giving life to still 2D illustrations and integrating 3D motion links. Basically, it will be your go-to software if you want to make the process of puppet animation as intuitive and fluid as possible. As with all programs, the choice is going to depend on your goals. If you're looking to make it as a professional animator that works in a studio setting, then Harmony is not just recommended, but required, actually. It's also the only one of the two that supports frame-by-frame -frame animation, so it goes without saying, if you want to animate traditionally, Harmony is the way to go. If you are, however, looking to focus your attention on puppet animation, or you have a background in 3D animation and are looking for something that feels very similar while having a completely different visual identity, then Cartoon Animator is the program for you. And with that, we have reached the finish line. We hope this video was helpful for what you were looking for. We hope you learned something new, and if you have any other information, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like, sub, and all that fun stuff. You know the drill. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.